Hi, I'm Henry Winkler, and I play Gene Cousineau on Barry. Hey, I'm Anthony Kerrigan, and I play Noho Hank on Barry. Hey, you know what? It's so nice to see you, because we never see each other on screen. We never see each other, it's true, but yeah. honestly, this is kind of a... I like yeah, your scenes, though. I love your my favorite character. Wait, so when are we coming on? We're coming on for our final season, Sunday, April 16th. I'm very sad. I'm very sad about that, too, but also excited. The final season, streaming April 16th on HBO Max. What's the show called? Barry. Barry. That's right. This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for April 4th, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Tickets are now on sale to see Avenge Sevenfold with Alexis on Fire July 19th at the Xfinity Center in Mansfield, Massachusetts. Tickets are also on sale to see Godsmack and Stained July 26th at the Xfinity Center. Get the details on both shows in the concert calendar at mistresscarry.com. Newfound Glory and the All-American Rejects have announced the joint Wet Hot All-American Summer Tour. It's their first headlining tour in nearly a decade for the All-American Rejects, and it kicks off August 11th in Tampa, Florida, before it wraps up on October 14th. Tickets go on sale to the general public this Friday, April 7th at 10 a.m. The tour includes two stops in New England on August 18th at the MGM Music Hall at Fenway and August 19th in Bridgeport, Connecticut at the Hartford Healthcare Amphitheater. In a new interview with Wes Borland from Limp Bizkit, he said the band is set to start working on a new album, saying, quote, we're talking about writing during all of the sound checks this year because we're doing so much touring. In the article in Guitar World, he continued, we want to get recording. We're talking about a travel destination to make an album together next year. We're looking at places now, so new music, yes, sir. Bad Omens have announced the Concrete Forever headlining tour. Hitting the road with ERA and IC Stars, it kicks off September 1st in Houston, Texas, and wraps up in Dallas, Texas on October 13th. That includes a show in Boston at Roadrunner on September 16th. Tickets go on sale this Friday, April 7th at 10 a.m. Coachella organizers have announced that for the first time in 2023, all six stages will be live streamed online across both weekends. Coachella's Weekend One live stream is set to launch Friday, April 14th at 4 p.m. Pacific, with Weekend Two following on Friday, April 21st at the same time. Archive sets will also be available each night following the day's live stream, and many of the weekend performances will be made available on demand. Disturbed are preparing to film a new music video for Don't Tell Me, the track the band recently released on their eighth studio album, Divisive. The song features the band's first cameo appearance, Ann Wilson from Heart. Yesterday, Disturbed guitarist Dan Donegan and bass player John Moyer revealed on social media they were about to shoot the clip in Miami, Florida, with Dan writing, quote, in Miami to shoot a video with a very special guest. Night off with an early lobby call in the a.m. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into on a Monday night. Incubus have scheduled their return to the road this summer for a 29-date U.S. tour, kicking off July 21st in Eugene, Oregon, and wrapping up October 6th with a headlining gig at the Hollywood Bowl. Tickets go on sale this Friday, April 7th via Ticketmaster. Two New England dates are scheduled, including August 9th in Guilford, New Hampshire at the Bank of New Hampshire Pavilion and August 13th in Uncasville, Connecticut at the Mohegan Sun Arena. Christine McVie from Fleetwood Mac's cause of death has been revealed as a stroke with cancer as a secondary factor. Back in November of 2022, her family said she passed away following a short illness. But according to her death certificate, first obtained by The Blast, notes that she suffered from an ischemic stroke, which occurs when a blood clot blocks or narrows an artery leading to the brain, preventing brain tissue from receiving oxygen and nutrients. She had also been diagnosed with metastatic malignancy of an unknown primary origin meaning cancer cells had spread throughout her body from an unknown place. Her death certificate also noted that she was suffering from atrial fibrillation, an irregular and often very rapid heartbeat that can lead to blood clots in the heart. Atrial fibrillation increases the risk of strokes in patients as well. 
Leonard Skinner have officially announced that they will continue as a band following the recent passing of founding guitarist Gary Rossington. The legendary Southern Rockers will honor all of their upcoming tour dates, including their co-headlining summer tour with ZZ Top. Gary Rossington's cause of death has yet to be revealed. He had suffered several health setbacks in recent years, undergoing emergency heart surgery in 2021. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 147 featuring Vili Valu from Vivi is available now. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band are back on the road in 2023, and Seth Lessing Bruce is joining the Pantheon Podcast family. I'm Jesse Jackson, and since 2015, I've been talking to Bruce Springsteen fans from around the world, allowing them to tell their stories about how Bruce's music has been a good companion on their life's journey. If you love music, if you love good stories, please check out the podcast and listen to our conversations about music fandom, not only for Bruce, but for many other musicians as well. Remember, it's no sin to be glad you're alive.